Hey Filmmaker Shun here, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an intro like Peter McKinnon's inside of Premiere Pro. So that was the intro with my own twist and also my own footage use. So the song that I'm using is called Garage, which is a song that you can download from the YouTube library. You might have noticed I've already loaded the song and also the clips onto the timeline. I'm mainly going to show you all the transitions effects and graphic effects he used. So I'm working actually on a 1080p timeline and I have like mixed medias from uh, 1080p, 2.7k and also 4k. So I might need to actually nest some of the clips before I add some effects. So the first clip here I have is a 4k footage and I'm going to add an offset transition. So for that I do need to uh, nest this first before I apply the effect because otherwise it would uh, result into some weird things happening. So I'm press here OK after nesting it. So the first effect I'm going to use is offset. Drag this onto the clip. And for the first 10 frames so I'm going to hold down shift and arrow to the right twice. And now press on this stopwatch to add a keyframe. Now move the timeline to the front and we're going to move this down a few frames. And now if we play this, it'd be like this. And we're going to here make this a bezier. Go to drop this down. I'm going to draw this bezier, make it like this. And now when we play this, we have this going on. On the first clip there isn't much graphic elements going on, however on the second clip there is like a grid effect going on. So we're going to add that. We're going to make a black view video on a new item here. And because we already have this black video we're going to drag this onto the timeline here. This longer. And we are going to use an effect called grid. So type in grid drag the grid onto the black video and also another effect that we're going to use is called circle drag this also onto the video black video now go to effects control gonna change the circle to stencil alpha and choose invert circle going to change this grid here the corner point to width slider width to 50 border to 1 opacity to 30 and at motion we're going to change the rotation to 45 degrees and we are going to scale this up until it fills the screen like this and now we're going to the circle here change this Add a feathering here of 100 and now scale this up this radius until we have like only here the edges to have this grid going on. Gonna turn off the safe margin for now. So we have this more visible design. And I'm going to duplicate this over to the next clip because that also have like uh, the same effect going on. So on this clip we're going to move this to one side so select the black video and then go to the circle and move the center so we have this only here going on and now we're going to select these two together and we're going to right mouse click and nest them together and press OK and this transition from this clip to the second clip there is like a square uh, effect going on. Uh, there's two ways to do it with a uh, yeah, square and a mask but I rather use a radial uh, wipe for this. So now we added the radial wipe we're going to change this transition completion to 75% gonna change this to minus 45 so we have this going on and here gonna click here this wipe center to add a keyframe 
we can actually now duplicate this control C control V so we have a pair of these gonna turn off one of them and now we're gonna move this all the way to the other side so it's kind of like fills in the entire screen gonna hold down shift arrow to the right twice to go to 10 frames and we're going to go back one frame uh, to go to nine frame and we're going to now move this wipe center so it actually covers the entire frame so it's like that and this one should be on 135 degrees and also the same we're going to change this wipe center move this all the way to this side so gonna move this like this now if we turn both of them on and play this clip we can see this square appearing so that is the square transition in there now go back to the beginning of this clip we're going to go to motion here and add a keyframe here now going to hold down shift and arrow to the right twice and going to add a skill here to 125 so it's a slight skill then five frames to back to 100 so we have this slight zoom and zoom out going on and then from here we and we're going to hold down shift and arrow to the right twice again and here change back to 100 so now we're going to select these two clips so the next transition is a push effect and we're going to select these two to nest them together and I press OK move this one down I'm going to select this nested clip I'm going to go to motion here and we're going to hold down shift arrow to the right twice to go to 10 frames I'm going to click this uh, to add a keyframe going to move to here and move this all the way to the right so that it's out of the frame and we're going to right mouse click this and change to bezier drop this down and draw this bezier like this and now go to the other nested clip under it going to go to position here gonna click this stopwatch here and now move this uh, slightly over I turned off this clip so I can see the clip under it now we're going to use position to move this out of frame like this to minus 96 960 and also change this to a bezier drop this down draw this measure and move this keyframe all the way to the end now turn this clip back on and now play this so we ha now have this going on now we have these two clips here we're going to use crop on both of them going to go to my quick list here and grab crop and put on both of them so I've selected this clip with where I'm walking and I'm going to move this here to 1440 so it's more towards one side and this crop we're going to crop here from the left 25% and this one on the bottom we're going to move this to 480 and we're going to crop from the right 25 so the main importance about these two clips make sure that you are in the center of the clip now we're going to animate these two clips so one is going down and one is coming up sliding in so now we're going to do this top one first so we're going to do my walking clip first and now go to the front here hold down shift and 
arrow to the right twice and then arrow to the left twice to go to eight frames and now we are going to add a keyframe at position and move this to the front here and move this all the way down and we're going to change this to a bezier drop this down and select the bezier and make it like this and go to the clip here also go to eight frames so and also keyframe here and move this clip up like this also change this keyframe to a bezier drop this down and draw this like that now when we play this we have this transition going on And now we're gonna drag the tint effect on one of them. Go to effects control. We're going to choose a red color for the white, which is a slightly darker or like a slightly nice red. And we are going to change the black here to a dark blue. So this dark blue. So we have this going on, I think a little bit darker blue be better maybe it's like lighter okay so we have this look going on and we're going to control C copy this tint effect and select the other clip and control V on it so we have this same color effect going on on both of them And on this clip, there's like a dotted pattern, so I'm going to make that. So we're going to add another black video here on top. I'm going to go to effects. We're going to go to video effects, generate, and add a cell pattern. We're going to effects control. We're going to change this contrast to 9000. We're going to change this disperse to zero and change the size from 60 to 100 and now we're going to add a crop here and at keying we're going to also add a luma key and another effect we're going to add now is tint now go to effects control and we're going to crop this from the left side like this and also a bit from the top like this and at tint we're going to change this white to a dark red and that should be fine so now we're going to animate these dots so that it actually moves from left to right so we're going to move to eight frames so hold down shift arrow to the right once and then three times to the right and now going to click this position to add a keyframe now move to the front here and move this dots to here now when we play this we have this so you move so you see the dots moving to that side so now to the next transition we're going to add a crop to both these clips and this one on top we're going to go to effects control and move it down so you just see my head still and this clip we're going to move down like this and i'm going to crop it from the top like this and this on the bottom we're going to move up and also crop from the bottom so it's just not cropping it 
So now we have this, we are going to animate them. So the top comes from the right and the bottom comes from the left. So hold down shift and arrow to the right twice. And also these needs to be extended. Now we're going to add a keyframe at position. And now move this to the front and slide this all the way to the left so that it's out of the stream screen and now do the same here hold down shift arrow to the right at a keyframe position and move this timeline to the front move this all the way to the right and right mouse click on this to add a bezier and drag this like that and also the same here change this to bezier drop this down make it like this now when we play it we have this going on now we're going to select both these clips we're going to click right mouse click and press nest and now press ok now we're going to add a zoom in effect going to select this nested clip go to the end here of the timeline and here shift to the left twice going to select position to add a keyframe here going to click the stopwatch at scale to add a keyframe here go to the end here a little bit to change this to 150 and move this keyframe to the end going to right mouse click onto this keyframe, change to bezier and drop this down and pull this bezier like this so we have like a zoom going on here from this we're going to add a zoom in also because this is a 2.7k GoPro shot this is already scaled down to 71% so we're going to add a keyframe here directly so now we're going to hold down shift and arrow to the right twice to go to 10 frames. And now we're going to change this to 100. So now at position we're going to add a keyframe here. Go uh, hold down shift arrow to the right once. And we're going to move this up a little. And now we're going to press arrow twice to the right. And press this to add a keyframe. And now arrow to the right once. And now we're going to move the position to the left, like this. And move this last keyframe all the way to the end. So now when we play this, we have this. So now these two clips, we're going to move left and right. Now this clip, I'm going to add a crop to it, like this. And go to effects control. I'm going to move this clip all the way like this over here and crop the left side so it's slightly cropped here and now I'm going to animate it to move slightly from here to this position gonna hold down shift and arrow to the right three times now going to position and add a keyframe here now move this to the front here and move this over here slightly now go to this and change this to bezier drop this down make it like this so we have this going on so now I'm going to press this arrow to go to this keyframe select this clip under it and now we're going to move it so that the right edge matches with this line so I'm going to move this to the left now make sure it aligns here so it aligns like this I'm going to press here on position to add a keyframe now move a few frames over and now we're going to move this all the way out like this to minus 960 gonna right mouse click on here add a bezier drop this down 
draw this bezier like this and put this to the end. And now this top clip here, move it all the way out. And also this, it's like this and draw it like this and move this to the end. Now if we play this, we have this going on. So it opens up, showing me there in the rain. And now this clip with me in the rain, I'm going to select this clip, go to the end here, hold down shift arrow to the left once. Gonna click on scale here and also rotation to add a keyframe. Move the timeline slightly over. Now we're going to change scale to 150 and change the rotation here to 15 degrees and move both these to the end of the timeline. So I have this slight rotation going on. However, we can add a ease in, ease out or change these two to a bezier and pull these like this. And now this one this so it's a slightly faster rotation now to the next clip here we're going to go to the front of this clip hold down shift arrow twice to the right gonna add a keyframe at scale and rotation move the timeline to the front change this to 75 and change this to minus 15 now change these two to bezier drop this down and gonna pull this bezier and this one at rotation also pull this keep it straight now if we play this we have this going on now we're gonna hold down Alt and drag this black video with the red dots. We're gonna change a few things about these dots. We're going to remove these crops for now. Scale this down actually. So I have this going on. Move this up. Crop this from the bottom like this. Now at new item, we're going to make an adjustment layer. Press OK, drag this here, make it much shorter and we're going to drag the effect tint onto the adjustment layer and we're going to change the black to a dark blue again and the white to a red. This. And we're going to change the position, move this down here. Actually make this a slightly brighter red. Because if we... This. Now we're going to make this shorter, like this. Just like that. Now we're going to move to this frame. Gonna select this black video and here at position at a keyframe now to the front and move all these dots up out of the screen. Go to adjustment layer, also go to this frame at also position keyframe here. Go to the front here and move this down out of the screen. Now we have this going on and here we're going to duplicate this adjustment layer and also these dots and going to select this black video with these dots and gonna change this, turn off this position here, move these dots to the bottom here 
this also turn off this keyframe animation and gonna move this adjustment layer to the top here so we have like half the video red from top so it's kind of like an inverse effect going on need to make sure it's correctly placed let's actually turn on the safe margins here so we know where the middle is move this here so this also in the middle so gonna now move this three frames over now gonna press arrow to the right three times one two three and move these three over and move this over like this and move this over like that again but now from here I'm going to add a keyframe to position here and the next one and here we're going to click reset parameters so the whole screen becomes red so this is going to happen because the red dots on red is a little bit not that visible I'm going to cut this clip here going to go to here down to tint and change this to white so instead of having black dots have right white dots and also because the red on green here isn't that visible also also going to change this to like white dots instead so those be more visible now I'm going to hold down shift arrow to the right once to jump five frames and now extend these to five frames now we're going to select this adjustment layer and go to front here and add a keyframe at position and move this over a little bit and move this to the top here so that's out of screen move this keyframe out to the end and here at black video we're going to also move this to the front and here at position at the keyframe now move the timeline over a little bit gonna move this to the middle here and then go to the bottom here and move this keyframe all the way to the end and now we have this effect going on so now we go to the next clip which is this here and I want this actually to be much closer of the drone now I'm going to add a skill keyframe move this to the front I'm gonna change this to 75% here gonna move timeline to the front hold down shift arrow to the right once to jump to five frames move this over here so now when we play this this happen and we have this a little bit black here so move this clip up a little so we play this and have this happening now I'm going to right mouse click this and nest it press OK now go to effects and I'm going to add an offset effect here at the end I'm going to move the timeline here to the end of this clip and hold down shift arrow to the left once gonna click this to add a keyframe to shift to center move this up a little bit now move the timeline a little bit over and now I'm going to move this parameter to move this down half a frame so like this and move this keyframe over so we have this going on I'm gonna move this clip down like this so there's like slightly more than middle and it's gonna grab a crop effect put it onto here and gonna crop the top like this and the bottom clip we're going to move up like this let's not crop as much from the top from the bottom one like that so we have this now move to the front of the clip 
and move this clip up to the middle here and go to the bottom clip and also arrow to the right once at a keyframe and also move it up a little so now when we play this we have this going on now select the top clip and move this slightly over and we're going to move this all the way out and move the bottom one and move this so it fills the entire screen so 540 move this to the end and also move this to the end so now have this going on So now when we play this section, we have this. So now we're going to right mouse click on this and change to Bezier. Going to drop this down. Going to pull it on both sides. This. And also here, change to Bezier. Change this like that. And that side. So now we play this. Now to the next two clips. This one we're going to change to 75%. Actually 65%. Move this all the way to here. Now gonna grab an effect called crop. And crop this from the left side like this and move this to the middle a little bit now the bottom one going to make this 100% because it's a 4k video and we're going to move this over here so you see me holding the camera now move the timeline to the front, hold down shift, arrow to the right twice to go to 10 frames. And we're going to click here to add a keyframe at position. And also at the other clip, do the same, add a keyframe at position. Now move to the front of the timeline and move them to the bottom until we see some space on top. And also this one move to the bottom here until we see some thing from top and move it back here now right mouse click on this keyframe choose bezier drop this down here and pull this bezier like this and also on the other clip change the bezier and also make it like that now if we play this we have this going on Now to the final two clips, I'm going to grab that adjustment layer with tint before and hold down alt and drag this over here, drag it over. Now I'm going to select this adjustment layer. We're going to remove the keyframes, pressing here, press OK and also reset the parameter so everything becomes red. Now I'm going to the start of this clip, I'm going to hold down shift arrow to the right once to jump to five frames. Move this adjustment layer over here. Now we're going to hold down shift arrow down once. And now press arrow to the right once to jump one frame. Here we're going to press command K to cut this adjustment layer. Now we're going to the next beat of the song. And we're going to move this over like this. And at the next beat we're going to add a cut here and at the next other beat we're going to add another cut now select this adjustment layer and we are going to position and move this to the left so that the right side is in the middle here and now we'll go to the next one and we're going to move this position 
uh, to the right so that the left side is in the middle like this now if we play this with this so now we have the entire animation so that was it hope you guys found this a very useful video if you are new to this channel and want to see more upcoming videos please hit that subscribe button here below also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when i post a new video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you the next time bye bye